Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter nine, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So these first ones are gonna be pretty easy because they don't have the same denominators. We only have eights for the bottom, okay? So we're gonna write them in order from greatest to least, or from the biggest to the smallest. Well, we know that the bottoms are all gonna be eights, okay? Now, we need to write the number that's the biggest first. Well, the biggest one here is a five. Now a two, then a one, okay? So before I do all of my other ones, I'm gonna go ahead and just find the ones that have same denominators, okay? Now this one's from least to greatest, so it's gonna be smallest to biggest, okay? Okay, so smallest, now the smallest top number is two, then three, then four, okay? So go ahead and do this, okay? Smallest to biggest. Smallest to biggest, okay? All right, but I'm gonna go back up here and we're going to grab out some handy dandy computer paper so that I can go ahead and do some math with you. Okay, so we have one third, one sixth, and one half, okay? Same top numbers, we don't care about those, remember? Okay, so we know I'm gonna do it this way for you so that you guys can see the example, okay? How it is that I'm breaking it up, okay? Okay. So those are all about the same size, obviously, Ms. Lee is not an artist. The first one I'm gonna break up into thirds, okay? And one of those is gonna be colored, okay? The second one I'm gonna break up into sixths. And one of those will be colored. The last one I'm gonna break up into halves. And one of those will be colored. Okay, so now you can see that as long as the top number is the same, okay, that the smallest bottom number is going to be the largest filled in. Okay, second one is right there, third one is right there. Okay, so greatest to least, we're going to write in one half, then we're going to write in one third, then we're going to write in one sixth. Okay. Notice over here all the top ones are the same. So we're going to do the same thing, which means that the smallest bottom is going to be the largest. Okay. Okay. So this one's the opposite. So you're just going to write them in backwards. Okay. So the, the bottoms are the same. Oh, this one's one of these ones. So bottoms are the same. Now this one, the top one's the same. Okay. So, so that means least to greatest. So we're going to go ahead and put it down here. We know the tops are going to be the same. Okay. So now smallest to biggest. Okay. All right, guys. You guys go ahead and finish up six and seven. You can totally do it. I believe in you, okay? We're gonna go down and do number nine. It says, Mr. Jackson ran seven eighths of a mile on Monday, three eighths of a mile on Wednesday, and five, mi five eighths mile on Friday. Which day did he run the shortest distance? So the bottoms are the same, so we're just looking for the smallest top number. That's gonna be there, so on Wednesday. There you go, okay? Celia has three pieces of ribbon. Her red ribbon is two quarters foot long. Her green ribbon is two thirds foot long and her yellow ribbon is two sixths foot long. She wants to use the longest piece for a project. So remember when the top numbers are the same, we're looking for the smallest bottom number, okay? For the biggest, okay? Smallest bottom number is a three right there. So it's gonna be green. 
Okay. All right. We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we are going to go down to number three. Okay, now I'm going to color these in really fast because you guys can't see this on the photocopy. So this one is colored in, this one, and this one. Okay, and you guys can't see it on the photocopy. So just color it in real fast, okay? All right. So it says, what fraction of a group of cards is shaded? Well, there's eight cards all together, so our denominator is eight, and then there's one, two, three that are shaded. Then three eighths. Okay. Wendy has six pieces of fruit. Of these, two pieces are bananas. What fraction of Wendy's fruit is bananas? Well, there's six pieces all together, and two of those are bananas. Can't get a whole lot easier than that, guys. Okay. Toby collects data and makes a bar graph about his classmates' pets. He finds that nine classmates have dogs, two classmates have fish, six classmates have cats, and three classmates have gerbils. What pet will have the longest bar on the graph? Well, which one has the most? So, the highest number is nine. That's going to be dogs. Okay, and the number sentence is an example of which multiplication property? You see, all it did was break up the 7 into 5 and 2, which means it will be the distributive. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 9.5. Come on back for 9.6. See you soon.